Hello everyone, I just want to make a very quick tutorial uh, on uh, procedural texturing and here's a technique that I don't use that often but it's a very it's a very important concept is the use of the X and Y parameters and alternatively there's also of course if you have a 3D texture Z parameter or a time parameter if you are and it's useful if you are doing animations um, Okay, so this looks very um, complex and I'm going to go through it all and I'm going to simplify it as well. Um, so what this function does, it um, starts out at the origin here and it, um, you know, the value increases as the x, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just the x value. So what you can do with, the, with these is make uh, functions with it. If you are familiar with ma mathematics, then uh, this uh, should uh, sound familiar. So what I've done here is I've made a, a mathematical function here. You know, it's like x to the power of two, and it's ten times x to the power of two, and y times ten to the power of two, and they're added together. But of course, there's this is very. Um, a very elaborate way. Uh, there's a, a simpler way that's called an expression. So let's get rid of all of, all of this. And also let's get rid of this one as well. On the functions you'll see expression. And I'll just make a new expression. Let's just get rid of this as well. So we have three inputs, x, y, and z, or whatever you want to input. And you name these variables x, y, x and y in this case. So we have 10 times x to the power of 2 plus 10 times y to the power of 2. That was our function that we had previously. And what I have is I have two textures. This is like a wood type texture from uh, that is sawed off, and this is a, like a gra graphite texture. I want to make a pencil. Um, I'll show you that in my next tutorial. And what you get is a circle because this is of course a formula for a circle. And as you can see, the gray graphite is now showing up here. It's blurring out. And it's uh, originating in the origin here. So because I don't like this blurring effect, I'm also going to show you something else. It's, like it's a custom function, which is a graph actually, and it's, it's it is basically in the same. You can use it in the same way as this custom color function. You can add points, and you can move them around here. And in this way, I can create something that's a bit more sharp, like this. Let's add values to it. And there we have a very sharp edge. You can also make this uh, graph smooth, so it, you know the effect is smoothed out, but I don't worry about it too much here. Let's make it a little bit more sharp. All right. Um, oh yeah, so what I wanted to do now is make the graphite um, a little bit uh, specular and have it uh, make uh, give it a bump height so it looks more realistic. For that I made a noise with uh, octaves uh, 12 at the uh, noise input of uh, 0.8 and what I want to do because Let's look at what this function does first. And when we put it into a custom color function, just a standard custom color function, you'll see that uh, these are these values are here are zero. These values here are one. So what this will does if you apply this to uh, you know to the noise pattern and put it into the specularity. Let's let's do that. Um, you now apply this. To specularity, 
then you will see that this actually the wood texture that is uh, specular actually let's put it into the vampire so you can see better there you go but actually I want it to be the other way around so what what I'm going to do then is you know have one subtract this function from it and you will get the reverse effect so I'll put this one in value 2 obviously it doesn't look that nice but because the lines crossing the block but who cares and there we have it here you have the one values here and we have zero values there so if we now multiply this with this noise function you'll only get this area to be graphite all right so let's put this back in let's multiply this one with this with specularity there we go and let's put also in the bump height this time I don't uh, I'm not putting in a scale shift here because I uh, I'm okay with this effect alright so this was my little tutorial about um, X and Y parameters. There's also a very interesting parameter that I may go into another time. There's the view angle, and it's like the angle of the camera, and that can create very strange effects. And I'll maybe go into that later. Right. So I hope this was helpful. And um, in my next tutorial, I'll be showing the texture parameters and using uh, multiple materials on one object. So st stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.